Uh, now we're going to be talking about uh, how to um, inspect the uh, check and maintain it if there's any maintenance that needs to be done on it. Keep in mind we do offer a five-year warranty on parts um, so make sure you contact your local uh, manufacturer or manufacturer's representative for details on that. So we have the first check out. We've got the back ring, 3, 304 stainless steel back ring. We've got the clip ring, which holds it in. Then we also have um, a lubricant for the uh, O-rings itself, which is, this is what comes from the factory, which is a Dow Corning equivalent. Um, and that's standard, and that really needs to be used for the O-ring. And we'll go over that in a little bit when we reinstall the check. So in order to get to the sealing surface, you take you know, the four nuts off. And normally, I've got these loosened up already. Normally, all you need to do maintenance uh, on this is a uh, nut driver and then also a slotted screwdriver. There's only two. You don't need special tools or anything of that sort. So I take the uh, four nuts off. You've got one uh, um, washer, and then you have access to the uh, uh, soft sealing surface right there. Okay, make sure you inspect it, make sure it's not cracked, uh, put that back in. Um, you wanna make sure that you inspect the, the hard surface right here. Make sure that there are no uh, dents or da damage that's done. The critical part about the, the check though is that the springs are captured. We do not have to uh, do anything to capture the springs while we are working on this. So I don't spend a lot of time uh, working on the springs themselves and having to put those back into place. Um, so I take uh, the cap, once when I've inspected it, you know, the sealing surface, replaced any worn parts, put that in, back in place, put the single washer back in place. For the first check, I've got a handle that I end up uh, putting back in. And then I've got the four nuts that I put back in on. Now I'm ready to put the check back in, all right? So when, when I would normally use a nut driver to go ahead and tighten these up. I'm not gonna do that for expediency purposes. But what I do need to do is make sure that I've fully lubed the O-ring all the way around, make sure there's no debris or anything attached to it using the uh, Dow Corning equivalent as we had talked about previous. So I'm going to take the check again, like previous uh, videos, it's going to go in at an angle. It's going to set right in there. And I'm going to push it until I see that it's completely seated into the body, into the uh, check um, receptacle. I'm putting the uh, back ring in first with my right hand. I'm holding that in place. Part of the issue, if there is debris in there, those will not go back in easily. You need to make sure there's no debris in there. You're putting the clip ring back in with my right hand. I'm holding the ears with my left hand, reaching down where I cannot see, and then clipping the, uh, the, the, rings, the ring back into place. You'll notice that the ring is completely in and seated. I'm gonna push the uh, rabbit ears around a little bit, make sure it's completely seated. Once when I understand it's completely seated, I should be able to grab it and it's not gonna come out. Now it's fully seated and fully in installed and it should be completely operable. And that's all for this video.